Hey guys, it's Phase One once again with another video. Today I kind of want to go over the new star map introduced with Star Citizen Alpha 3.23. Very exciting stuff. What we're going to start off with, um, there's a reason why I am currently at... Uh, one sec. I'm going to go all the way back. There's a reason why I'm currently at a station right now. So I can showcase the interior map that shows up whenever you're inside of a... Whether you're a landing zone or a um, a facility like a space station, okay. So it shows the interior map itself, and um, here's an interesting thing that you can do is you can save markers. So first thing I want to cover here is markers. So you can see that you have a marker data bank here, and you can select anywhere on it, and I believe it's T, and it allows you to save a marker. So let's say marker one okay i'm going to confirm this and it will stay there okay so get rid of that so whenever you want to um get your markers you can mark it and then it will uh direct you to that marker okay so so now if i when i leave this station when i come back this marker will still remain there within my data bank okay so Right now, I don't see this um, working right now in out in space, but I believe it will eventually will um, when uh, this um, further down the line um, as they continue to develop the star map. So, so that's the first thing I wanted to cover. Another thing you want to cover is once you hit this search button right here, it also gives you location. So within this facility, you can actually check out different zones within the facility okay so um, zone one is the refinery deck um, the admin area within the refinery deck you can check that out as well habitations it actually shows you all of the locations here within the space station for habs um, medical supply uh, the medical office here that they have here the clinic um, everything you ever need, even including certain shops. So if you want to know where the burritos is or you're looking for food or the admin office is a popular one that you want to know where it is, you can um, hit that, I believe. Uh, let's see. Can I route to it? Forget the key bind uh, to route to it, but there is a way to route to it. Hold on. I think you can do it through here. Admin office. Forget the key bond, there used to be a way to actually um, plot a route to it. Um, uh, but I'll make sure when I find that, I'll, I'll include it in the description of the video um, so that uh, you guys have a way to do that. But yeah, so essentially that is it. Once you get into a facility, you can find whatever you're looking for through this here. Okay, so the next part is I'm going to head over to my ship and then we're going to look at the entire system from there. Okay, I'll catch you shortly. Okay, so I'm back. So when you're within your ship, as soon as you spin up your, let me cancel this. Uh, as soon as you spin up your um, your maps, or it's now called maps, um, but uh, star map for those that are veterans, you can see the internals of your ship as well. If you do have other crew members, like party members, you'll be able to see them move within the ship. Okay, so and you'll see the doors open or anything else that's open. So this is kind of linked also to the engineering gameplay that's going to be coming uh, soon as well. So um, you'll have here, uh, you'll be able to also set markers as well. T, marker 2, confirm. And then this will save. So marker 1 will also be here. How do I, how do I, they did change this. I used to be able to plot marker to it. But um, yeah, so uh, marker two is right here since I'm in it. When I go back to the station and I click marker one, it will highlight the same way it is highlighting here. Okay, so, um, so now to move further out, when we zoom out, we now see the entire uh, star map. Okay, so if you, for example, want to navigate to... Um, let's say, for example, Microtech, right? You can hover above it, click on it, and then you can plot route like that. And then it will 
map it out. If you have, um, and, and it actually gives you information in terms of how much fuel it will take, how long it'll take, as well as the points that you'll be jumping. So right now, this is just a direct jump over to Microtech. So let's say for instance, I want to, uh, so if you double click here, it'll take you straight to its um, planetary view. And then let's say I want to go to Euterpe, all right? So let, I'm going to plot out here. So now it'll plot my jump to Microtech. It will be four minutes and 17 seconds and this amount of fuel. And then from Microtech to Euterpe will be 14 seconds and that amount of fuel and distance. Okay, so it's a really great update. I'm really, I really like this. It's very intuitive. Okay, so um, another thing that I kind of want to give you is, which is a tip would be if I want to go somewhere so let's say let's use uh, let's use Hurston for this instance. I click Hurston by hitting the keybind R, it'll automatically plot to the location. All right, so R. Hold on. There and it starts plotting if you hit the keybind R. So R is just another shortcut you can use uh, to plot um, routes. Okay, so um what else so if let's say uh this button right here will take you to the point which in which you have selected this button right here will take you up to various levels so let's say i decide to go to not crew up to but i want to go to crusader and let's say i go up to um, i'm looking at uh, some locations here on daymar right so once uh i don't know why it disappears it's supposed to actually stay this button right here okay that's broken they need to fix that but the idea that i'm trying to uh, get you to understand is this button right here right this is this is a stupid bug this button the the, the further this button that sits right here will take you up a level. So let's say if I was at Daymar, if I hit it, it will swing me up to Crusader and then I'll be able to see all the moons of Crusader. And if I hit it again, it will swing me all the way up to Stanton Deep. Okay, so that's the purpose of that back button right there. Okay, so um, another main feature that I wanted to share in this video is also the search. Uh, feature which is awesome you can start typing anything really um arc court or and it'll start giving you results of whatever you could be looking for you know what i mean so i want to go to arc corp i select arc corp here it'll take me there if i want to plot route i can do that as well right and then let's say uh uh ever Everest Harbor. Select that. Plot route. And it'll plot me my route to Everest Harbor. It'll even tell you the OM, OM that you also need to jump to. So it's a really great feature. Um, so, yeah, so essentially that is it. Um, in terms of all the basics that you need to know, we're still learning as they continue to develop it. And if I do find some new information, I'll make sure to include it in the description of this video or in the comments or i if it's uh, warranted i may make a new entirely new video to update this little guide here all right so don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you on the next video later